Hey guys, how's it going? DOJ2 here. Welcome back to Fortnite Save the World and welcome to the Canny Valley story quest line. So what's going to happen here is I am going to be doing multiple videos. I'm going to be doing potentially 19 videos of going through Canny Valley and I'm going to try and do them one page at a time. So one page per video. I'm also going to be heavily editing these videos so that I remove a lot of the extra stuff. So that we can just kind of see, you know, there's going to be some gameplay on it, you know, but I'm, that's what I'm going to try and do. Now, I know that some of these missions are going to have to be like dub two, three, four, five missions in one. And that may get a little crazy, but we're going to try and see. We're going to try and see what happens. So here we go. Uh, right now we have with us Abandonment Trail, Aziz and FM Pat. They are going to help me out. Uh, yes, we are going into a level 46 mission. <laughs> I do live with it. All right, here we go. Do, 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 do. And yes, I will be doing this a lot right now. Uh, I hope that I can do it in 19 videos. I don't know. And also remember, we do get to skip the... We do get to skip the... What's it called? What? I've always wanted to leave it all behind and head out on the open road. Okay. No schedules, no rules, no responsibilities. Great. Other than rescuing survivors and leading a team of heroes and saving the world and figuring out what that massive anomaly at the far end of Canny Valley is and why it appears to be growing in size. Massive and anomaly? So, so, so angry. <laughs> you and me at the open road. All right, so what's our mission then? Ooh, our mission a is guidebook. guidebook camp. I snagged us a guidebook back in Plinkerton. A cowpoke's guide to Canny Valley. The rootin'est, tootin'est, yippee ki guidebook ever wrestled together. That's the title. yippee ki uh, According to the guidebook, there's no better way to start your Canny Valley journey than by taking in one of the stunning rock formations. Okay, rock formation right there. Let's go take it in. Do I have to climb up it? I think ah, I do. Those are some nice rocks. Nice tip, guidebook. According to the guide, this Oops. here valley was named after the explorer Thaddeus Gumption Smith, whose party set out in search of the fabled lost city of Tin, which wise thinkers of the age agreed did not exist. Thad proved those wise thinkers right, returning from his expedition with only a single tin can and a horrific tale of survival and cannibal. Uh... Oop, can't read the rest. Pages a single, to this day, single tin are can. Sure if canny refers to the tin can or oh. the cannibal. It's the can. The experts all decided it's the can. Whoa. Interesting. Let's keep looking around. That's actually kind of cool. I had no idea that about Candy Valley. That it could be because of the can, or it could be because of the cannibals. Let's consult the guidebook. No visit to Candy Valley would be complete without a trip to an abandoned mine. Home to old mining equipment and the mysterious Creek Cavern Settler Glyphs. Uh, where are we going? Over there. Okay. Throwing it? Wow. According to the guidebook, okay. Canny Valley was home to many indigenous peoples, most famously the Creek Cavern Settlers. Okay. For years, historians have puzzled over a series of glyphs left behind by the Creek oh. Cavern oh, Settlers. Oh, yeah, the, the ones in the ground, site? yeah. A warning? A prophecy? No one can say for sure. I've added another can we see them? to your map. Let's explore. Wait, can you see the glyphs here in this one? Huh, there's a note. Shortly after publication of the first edition of <sighs> A Cowpoke's Guide to Candy Valley, the Rootinus Tootinus Yippie Kaye and his guidebook ever wrestled together, the mysterious glyphs were finally translated. Okay. The dozens of glyphs were revealed to be variations of the same chilling message. Someone find that man's horse. Someone find that man's horse? Wait. Many prominent explorers and scientists yeah, have been drawn to the mysterious glyphs. Particularly Sid Barrett, a well-known paleobiologist and former lead singer of Steel Wolf. Hmm. According to Sid's research, the glyphs tell
tell the tale of mankind fighting back against extinction. While the cause of the near extinction is unknown, experts like Sid Merritt are focusing on menacing humanoid figures within the glyphs. Were these right, yeah. from another nation or tribe? Or something more sinister? Whoa. Well, we don't have husks that look like that. There's another note. I mean, that's a Probably red eye. Those are regular husks. Books. It came to light that earlier translations of the cavern glyphs were in fact a hoax. The mystery remains. Oh. A hoax, you say? Let's head back to civilization. There must be a road around here somewhere. Yes, there's Let's one right there. Let's consult the guidebook. When in Canny Valley, be sure to explore our iconic abandoned junkyard. <laughs> which many claim to be haunted by the legendary gunslinger, Black Food Heirs. Black huh. Food Heirs, We should okay. find the junkyard. Alright, junkyard it is. Where is the young junkyard? It's gonna be over there, yep. To some, Black Food Heirs was a hero. To others, he was nothing but a scoundrel. Little is known as to why Ayers, formerly a mild-mannered horse whisperer, traded in horse talking for gunslinging. But one thing was for certain, Ayers was out for vengeance, and it was probably horse-related. <laughs> Here we are. Okay. Let's consult the guidebook. Alright, you Legend consult the guidebook while I break stuff up. Stemmed from the theft of Senior oh yeah, what can you do in- what can everyone else do in this mission? Some say Ayers wanders the desert to this day. Can they do anything? The deeply unspecific name of his lost horse. Black Boots Rampage popularized the six-gun and gunfight culture in Canny Valley. And inspired many stories and folk ballads such as I don't have your horse, mister. <laughs> there ain't no horse in here, I swear. And the classic barn burner, please, my God, someone find Senior Caballo. <laughs> Senior Caballo. Makes sense. <laughs> I always wondered why the singer was so upset. <laughs> yeah, I mean, people who come in this mission with you, they can't do anything, can they? Okay, where's the huh? next one? I think Lars is nearby. If I had to guess, I'd say he's near a truck stop. Truck stop? Okay. Let's see what we have here. Found it. Truck stop. Mark the location on the map. Truck stop. Uh, truck stop. Uh, stop. We're here. Where's Lars? What's your location, Lars? Floating. Hey, Lars. You think Sid could be out here? Uh, don't get my hopes up, little robot. Not even if I'm seeing tracks from a '78 Softail Mercurado. Of which there are only two in circulation? Ooh. By in circulation, you mean unexploded. Well, yeah. Unexploded. Sid might be the only guy smart enough to fix the Mercurado's nitro tank. And <laughs> dumb enough to ride it. <gasps> Steel wool reunion confirmed! <laughs> but don't get your hopes up. I love Everything Ray is so awful much. and the world has fallen apart. And good things basically never happen. But when the reunion happens, I get a backstage pass and a walk on. And you dedicate Sweet Lady Day to me. And change the lyrics. And Sid has to point me out in the crowd during the bridge. And I want a spotlight. A small, tasteful spotlight. <gasps> and a bandana. Mike Stan bandana, not from the merch table. <laughs> wow, she's a real fan. Oh, if you want to guide okay. the Canny Valley, is he? I'm your man. It's always been a he said he's floating. For, for all of us in Steel Wolf. Talk oh, about natural beauty and history. I could teach a course in the local history. Did you know the name Canny Valley comes from a failed expedition that was forced to resort to can? Nope. Ibble. No. Ism. They found a can, and that's the story, and we don't talk about it. They eat each other. <laughs> oh, I love Ray so much. Uh, moving on. Let's head to the desert and see what the guidebook has to say. Okay, desert. We're... we're missing a page. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, I've located the last page. Let's track it down. Where's the last page? Over there, all right. Let's get... Actually, you know what? Um... Oh, no way. Dyer's no gonna way be amazing for this. Steal pages from our guidebook! We need to know what's on that page, Commander. Let's take it back. Um... Give us back our guidebook, you creep! I forgot these are level 46. Uh, there we go. Yes! We found 
We got it. Let's go back. Oh, we're done. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Page. Quest completed. Here we go. Last page. Here we go. The end. <laughs> At least we have closure. And there we go, guys. That was the very first part of Candy Valley, the Candy Valley story. I wanted to just release this first episode, part one of the first page. I am intending to release full pages. I will release later today the second part, which will include the rest of page one. But I want to keep this first video short and sweet. And thank you very much to everyone who helped me all day yesterday to push through. I am intending to get through the entire storyline, the entire Candy Valley, Valley story before the end of the year. So if you guys want to join me for that, keep an eye on Twitter because I will be posting my weekly schedule there as well as whenever I go live. And that's what we're going to be doing mainly on the streams. We're going to be grinding and trying to get through the storyline finish canny before the end of the year thanks a lot for watching guys as always i am duj2 if you guys enjoy this video if you guys want to see part two just hang in there it will be out later tonight thanks a lot for watching thank you very much guys i really appreciate all you guys do thank you so much for the support i'll see you guys next time see ya